This building is 48,000 square feet. Lemoyne College continues to grow, but amazingly, its energy use continues to go down. This is our exclusive tour inside the brand new high-tech science building. For the last five years, about uh, a doubling of the number of um, students in, the, in biology. So really, there was a uh, a big demand for uh, new science space. Tonight, the ribbon cutting ceremony marks the completion of the $20 million project. It was built on time and under budget, and it's expected to achieve gold level LEED certification in the next few months, meaning it's green from top to bottom, from inside out. We reduce the level of artificial light when the sun's shining and we can harvest that energy from the from the sun. We use uh, plywood, rapidly renewable uh, woods throughout. Uh, we're not destroying trees that have been growing for 50 years or something like that. It's, it's bamboo. It grows like grass. Part of the LEED certification is not only how the building is built, but how it's maintained as well. Take the floors, for example. They're sustainable and they don't need to be cleaned as often as other types of flooring, which cuts down on the energy use. More than a dozen new classrooms and science labs, plus the largest teaching space on campus, a 125-seat lecture hall. It's not only a place for students to learn, it's also part of the lesson. The building itself becomes an experiment. Students will be monitoring our energy use, our water use, and doing adjustments to try to make the building as efficient as possible. All of that information right at students' fingertips. They tell us it's energy efficient, but um, and by stuff like this we can actually see how it is. You can compare the electricity use to different like everyday things like toaster ovens and microwaves. I think it kind of puts the energy use into perspective for you. A perspective into how this green building is saving energy and thousands of dollars too. Reporting from Lemoyne tonight, I'm Caitlin Newclough.